Whoever said humans are the only animal to wage war, you're wrong, you dumb smelly hippie. A ton of animals go to war. It's not even only the smart animals. Goddamn ants and bees go to war all the time, and regardless of what animal it is, it's almost always over stuff like areas of grass or sugary liquids. One of these wars that was responsible for mentally scarring none other than famous primate researcher Jane Goodall was a four-year conflict between tribes of chimpanzees called the Gombe Chimpanzee War. This war took place from 1974 to 1978 in the Gombe Stream National Park in Tanzania, where chimps roamed these hills in territorial groups, the largest of which were around 40 members strong. This all started with two communities of chimpanzees, the Kasekela community and the Kahama community. These two groups were once all part of one bigger Kasekela community, but in 1974, the tribe began dividing into two groups over the past few months. From this larger tribe, around eight males, three females, and their babies split off and traveled south from the Kasekela group, being renamed the Kahama community by the researchers. After the split, the Kasekela had around 8 males, 12 females, and their young. Before we get into how these majestic creatures brutally ended each other's existence with rocks, by the way, fun fact, chimpanzees have recently entered the Stone Age, let's give the main fighters names so you can emotionally attach to them. Now in chimpanzee society, only the males get to fight in the wars. Write as many scornful tweets about it as you like, I don't think the chimps are gonna change. The main soldiers representing Kasekela were named Figgin, Satan, Sherry, Ever. Rodolph, Jomeo, and Humphrey. On the other side of this chimp civil war repping Team Kahama were brothers Hugh and Charlie, Day, Goaty, Goliath, Willy Wally, who was apparently paralyzed from polio, and of course, who could forget about Young Sniff? On January 7th, 1974, the Kasekela tribe drew first blood. A war party consisting of Humphrey, Figgin, Jomeo, Sherry, Everett, and Rodolph ambushed the Kahama chimp Goaty and bashed him repeatedly with a rock while he was alone. This was the first time that these these chimps had been observed to gang up and kill another chimp. The chimps often celebrated after each kill, whooping and screaming and throwing sticks around in a beta version of when humans riot after a sports team wins or loses or does anything at all. Fighting continued between the groups, but it soon became clear that the Kasekela had the upper hand. The Kasekela war team stalked and executed Day, then Hugh, then Goliath, who was actually relatively friendly to the Kasekela when he encountered them. Apparently, chimps take no prisoners. After the first round of attacks, the only Kahama fighters left were Charlie, Young Sniff, and Willy Wally. Charlie was the next to go, and after his death, Willy Wally disappeared, never to be seen again. Young Sniff survived for over a year, but then eventually he was found and dispatched by members of the Kasekela. The females that were a part of the Kahama were either killed, went missing, or were kidnapped. After this, the Kasekela took over the Kahama territories. This didn't last long, because soon they were kicked out by an even larger tribe and retreated to their own territory. And this was the end of the Gombe Chimp Wars, and animals never killed each other again. The end. Before this, Goodall and the rest of humanity widely thought of chimpanzees as gentle and friendly creatures. They even thought they were vegetarian before this point. Boy, were they wrong. Nope, they're omnivores that engage in occasional cannibalistic infanticide. They've even been observed systematically hunting and eating other smaller primates in the trees, ripping off limbs and sharing them like drumsticks among other members of the tribe. Some chimps are known to pin down their enemies in a group, break their limbs, and rip out their throats. They even sometimes rip off the testicles and throw them to one side. It's strange seeing an animal that can be so friendly, but also so brutally and nightmarishly violent. Damn, they really are the human's closest relatives. If you liked this video, please subscribe, hit the bell with all notifications enabled, comment, like, watch all of my other videos, buy millions of stickers from my Redbubble shop, and devote the rest of your existence to re-watching everything I have ever made. Or else, I want to thank Supic for drawing the chimps that kicked the Kasekela group out of their, um, you know, the territory that they got and then they didn't have. He's a great artist and you should go check out his page. I especially want to thank my most devoted cult members for watching and liking and commenting on every video. It really helps with the growth of the channel and hopefully it will help the algorithm not forget that I exist. Like every content creator, I'm trying my very hardest to grow our cult as fast as possible with regular uploads without sacrificing the some level of quality. As always, like something at the bell and I will see you all in hell. Okay, bye.